what's up guys welcome back to the channel i hope you guys are having an awesome day today so today we are working on the last brake of my car so this is the last one i've got the front done the front got done a long time ago and so did the other side that was easy and then we moved and then a bunch of more stuff happened and then i managed to get this side done while i had the car down and did the water pump and that was a bad side to do because i didn't have the tool to release the back side so now i am doing this side this is the last side here's the rotor and the brake and i still don't have the tool but i have an idea that i think will work because last time when i was working on the other side i use well mama my daughter um gave me this and she was like try this she's only uh two years old and yeah she was just playing with my tools and she threw this to me and i was getting frustrated so i just put this in there and turned it and i actually got it to work and i was able to fit uh, the rotor in on that side over there so today I'm going to try that same thing on this side without the tool and see if it would work one screw another two screws one at the top and then the same thing one at the bottom now what's cool about this that I didn't know is you don't have to take this bracket right here off you do not have to take this bracket off to remove this rotor i did not know that like because the rotor is is held in by this bracket right here or whatever, but you can take that sucker off of there without even removing that bracket which is mind-blowing to me because i never knew that and yeah I always watched everybody take this bracket right here off but that's mind-blowing and that's pretty cool to know that now now the trick that I was telling you guys about so you pretty much I open these up right here all the way up and then you see how this has these grooves in the middle right here you see how it has these grooves in it that's why it needs that special um, special press or whatever because it needs to be pressed down and turned at the same time so I didn't know that when I was doing the other the other one in the rear so yeah like I said I ended up taking that um, ranch right there and stick it inside of there and just turned it and pressed it down and got it down further enough where I was able to put the rotor in so now I'm going to try it again on this side and see if it works See that guys after probably about an hour of spinning that piston right there with just this adjustable wrench um, just twisting and pressing down twisting and pressing down twisting and pressing down twisting and pressing down I got the piston far enough down in there that way I can take it and now it's able to go right on there Look at me, man. Look at me out here fixing stuff and man. Good job, babe. Alright, now it's all back on there. New brakes are in. Both bolts are hooked back into there. Brakes are in and I can freely spin this now because I know last time this was a problem. I could not freely spin it and when I tried to go into first gear, I was stuck because this brake was not free to spin. So double check that. Now let's put the tire back on there and continue on. You know what? Just straight cut to the cinematics. 